Whoa, that ain't right. This is what my wallpaper is supposed to be. This is what it says it is, but this is what it actually is. iOS 12 for you boys and girls. Hey, what's up guys? Apple just released iOS 12 beta three. And in this video, as usual, let's go ahead and dissect it into all of the new changes and features. And this is a very significant one. You guys are gonna love this. Apple finally introduced their new mapping system into iOS 12 beta three. And before I get into that, there's a bunch of other stuff I wanna cover, but this is phenomenal. And it's only gonna make things better from here on out, hopefully, with with the dire situation that Maps was in. All right, so check this out, guys. Same wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead and apply it as uh, my wallpaper on both of these devices. And for whatever reason, iOS 12 beta 3 now adds a gradient once again to that wallpaper. So it was the same color before. Sadly, now on the home screen, you can see that it is washed out. And this may be a bug, but personally, I have been experiencing this. So the gradient is back on beta 3. And a very weird behavior when actually locking your device, if I lock them at the same time, it hangs a little bit longer without locking on iOS 12 beta 3. So it appears that uh, the locking isn't quite as responsive anymore. So once again, one, two, three, as you can see, it hangs and then locks. On the lock screen, when you're in do not disturb mode, you're gonna get some slightly altered text here. The description basically changes. Also, as you can see, the prompt itself is a little bit easier to distinguish from the background. In the control center, the blur now is more distinct. So a little bit more aggressive blur. If you have a more detailed background, you'll notice it more, but uh, something I immediately noticed. So it looks a little bit different, definitely a little bit more refined. Also in the notification center, the little circle now the X inside of it is slightly larger. And when you actually 3D touch on it, there's a very nice new bounce animation. So previously it was kind of flat and now you click on it and you get this awesome and very satisfying bounce. And check this out, the 3D touch toggles work on iOS 12 as well. So if you actually hold on this little X, as you can see, gives you that animation, pops that up. Very, very nice. Now when your carrier name is too long, previously it would not scroll, but now in iOS 12 beta three, it'll actually scroll through on the top left here on the iPhone 10. Now in reachability, activating it on both, but then going into the control center, will actually automatically pop it up into the full control center, whereas previously you'd be stuck in this half control center mode. Now Apple has implemented their new mapping system into the Maps application. This is immediately apparent when going to San Francisco and over here around the Moss Beach area. Notice how much more detail there is now on the left here with iOS 12 beta three. So to begin with, this is restricted to San Francisco, but many people are reporting that a lot of streets around their homes that previously weren't available are now showing up in iOS 12 beta three. So that's already good. Apple's building on that, but uh, they're gonna be expanding to more areas. They've been mapping this for four years. And finally, the fruits of their labors have been revealed. And it's pretty cool. Everything is detailed. You can see things better. It should be more reliable and updating changes will happen much faster they say since they aren't relying on TomTom Tom any longer. Either way, very, very cool. So huge update to the maps. Also, by the way, for people that were having GPS issues, that has been resolved once and for all. So all devices that were having the GPS issues where you just could not follow the turn-by-turn -turn navigation, that has been fixed and works properly now in iOS 12 beta 3. And on the lock screen, sliding over to the more settings, you'll notice that the buttons are now a little bit more compact. So you can see a little portion of the notifications. And also you can now now slide completely to clear the notification and uh, you do have to do it kind of aggressively. So once again, before you couldn't, and now if you go ahead and slide and then slide really fast, whoops, man, this is quite complicated as I said, but uh, it should be able to delete just on its own, just like this. Oh my gosh, this is not very user friendly. There we go. So you slide all the way to the left and it will clear from one slide now. And the mismatched heights of the two different status bars have been fixed on iOS 12 beta three, so that's no longer annoying. All right, so this is a new one, but I just discovered this in the last beta, 3D touch on uh, the do not disturb mode to get this platter. This was not available before. And inside until I leave this location is now a new option. All right, so in the messages application, in the apps, if you click on activity, there are now new stickers and animated GIFs in here. So previously you just had several, now you have way more. And also a change to the meme emoji customizer. So if I jump into my emoji and edit it, you'll actually notice that the interface is now slightly larger. So everything looks and appears a little bit different. Even a lot of the facial hair stuff is a little bit different. As you can see, it's more stretched out, easier to see, and this is apparent everywhere. So it's a very small one. Like I almost didn't notice it at 
at first, but everything is a little bit larger, a little bit stretched out, easier to understand and uh, see what you're doing here, especially in the hats. For example, look at this cowboy one. It's uh, a lot larger over here, uh, the turban over here. So yeah, the interface for Memoji has been stretched and is larger. And in the notes application, if you go into the share settings, there's a new toggle here for handwriting feedback. So you can give Apple feedback on what's going on with your handwriting. Uh, basically, yeah, they have a little description in here to go with them. And in the share settings of photos or anywhere where this is applicable, there's an updated icon here for assigned to content. So a little bit friendlier looking with an actual dude in there. Now within the battery monitoring settings, you'll actually be able to tell when your phone was within the low power mode as represented by that yellow graphing. Very cool. Now upon restarting, this page now shows automatically, of course, if your pin is SIM locked. So previously you had to click a button or prompt to make it appear, now it's automatic. And within your account settings, there's a new tab here for share my location. So Apple basically cloned that option and placed one inside of your account stuff. Now inside the face gallery of the watch application, only the Siri watch face is now highlighted. And within FaceTime, when you're using the effects, now there's a new interface. It's within this little card view instead of being full screen. Now there used to be crashing when calling an iOS 11 device via FaceTime from an iOS 12 device. That has since been fixed in beta three. And lastly, for some users on CarPlay, when going into reverse or using a blind spot monitoring camera, their CarPlay would just reset. Now that's been fixed in beta three. And of course the iPads. So I'm gonna start with Steve Trotton Smith's tweet. This is found in an iOS 12 beta and another reference to an iPad with Face ID. So and emojis can work on an iPad. They have an interface built already. They're just waiting for an iPad, of course, with the Face ID camera. This is the old voice memos interface. Now there's a new one in beta three and it's very nice and refined. Got some blur going on in the background. So works very well. And this is the actual recording interface. So that's been slightly changed as well. And within Safari in the tabs view, there's a new option here to search the tabs. So if you have a million open, you can do that now. Now for devices on the largest iPad, the 12.9 inch version, if you're using an iPad app that hasn't been optimized for a 12.9 inch iPad and you go to use the keyboard, you will actually get the full uh, keyboard experience from the 12.9. It no longer shows you a cropped version of the 9.7 version. And a very interesting change noticed in an earlier version of iOS 12, Apple actually made the nav bars on iPad a few pixels larger, I believe six pixels. And this was found by this developer here. So gives the text a little bit more room to breathe. And if you guys have an iPad six generation, the new cheap one released this year, there is no longer a multitasking app limit that was previously there. And only iPad pros could have as many apps as they wanted open. So that's been removed and the iPad six can multitask to its heart's content. You can no longer do this on non iPad pro devices. Previously in iOS 12, you could run three apps simultaneously interact with all of them. Now, if you bring up a third one, the background gets grayed out. So so Apple is limiting non-iPad Pros in some ways, but adding more functionality in others. This is seriously the coolest feature ever. You can now ask Siri to find your iPhone that's linked to the same Apple ID. This is not a new feature. It's an older one, but I've never mentioned it on this channel. So check this out. Where's my iPhone? So she found my iPhone and yes, Siri, play a sound. Okay, just a moment. Look at that. So this one went into a lost mode, basically. It'll play the sound until you find your phone wherever you lost it near you. And a few more iOS 12 features and changes that I haven't shared with you yet, but still wanted to. So within the camera application, you can actually do secret recording and bring down your cover sheet and it will still keep recording. This was found by iDevice Help and it's kind of cool. If you slide over, you're still recording. So that secret recording, not really a feature, more of an oversight in iOS 12. And within Safari, if you actually search for an artist, it will present you with a lot of their songs you can start playing immediately from within Safari. And if you start downloading an app that's over 150 megabytes over cellular, you'll see you'll get this prompt here. It's slightly altered from before. And when relevant to your conversation, messages will actually give you a prompt here to choose photos to add right away. And this is one of those great little things you definitely appreciate. iOS 12 phone calls end right away now. Previously in iOS 11, there was a delay, but now both the sender and receiver, when they click end, it ends right away. Now in iOS 12 beta two, when you would receive a call, you'd click remind me and that call would disappear and you can go on using your phone while the call rings in the background. That was unfortunately a bug and has since been fixed in iOS 12 beta three. Now when you jump into your car and if your car is Bluetooth and automatically connects to your iPhone, the songs are now randomized. So it no longer plays the first song on your list and you no longer learn to hate that song. Oh, and when updating to iOS 12, it appears that users will get another free trial of Apple Music if you've already had one on iOS 11. Now the live listen feature with AirPods in iOS 12 beta three has an updated icon next to the name of the device it's being used with. So in this case, AirPods, little tiny AirPods, 
right next to the name. Okay guys, and there it is features wise, iOS 12 beta 3. Let's see if the performance has changed at all. Now the battery life for me personally on beta 2 has been much better than beta 1, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and see if the numbers here have changed. And let's see how close we can get to the leaked benchmark of the iPhone 11 supposedly yesterday. And here's that score. So pretty normal for an iPhone 10, but it's so similar to the leaked one from the iPhone 11. How reliable do you think that is? I personally don't. The A12 will be a monster and it will probably be higher than this. But otherwise, there it is, guys. I can see no detriment to the speed. It still seems pretty great. Animations, pretty decent, pretty normal. I've noticed some lag and stuttering here and there, uh, but that's to be given with a beta. Anyways, guys, there it is. I was told beta three latest features and changes. I'll keep you guys updated on anything new in the future. Peace.